Welcome Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. This is the Pisces season. And for a lot of you Virgos, it can be very, very good because you're, uh, you and the Pisces vibrate and frequent on the same, um, energy vibration, especially numerological energy vibration. So it could be very good. This season could be very good for you Virgos, but I see, um, a whole lot of conflicts and strive. Um, I see that, um, there is uh, some sort of, uh, and you know, Virgos, be aware of people at the workplace. Check out your chairs before you sit on it. Put something on your chairs. Take your cushion to work or something on your chairs, Virgo. I am not liking the first week for you. And it's coming up for a, uh, um, a high professional person. Uh, and it's coming up for a high professional person. I see a lot of strife for this person because they recognize something that this person have done. So we come in recognizing that some sort of an end is going to be coming up for I professional, um, you I professional ladies between the ages of 18 and 50. Some sort of an ending is going to be coming in. I see you're striving with your boss or your manager in order to get out of a situation. We see the energy of the strive. A lot of you young ladies is going to be having some sort of an issue coming up in the third week. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, these are seasons written. This is a season of Pisces beginning from the 19th until the 20th of March. You got to write down your sweet days. Now, um, the third week is going to be good. I see a lot of you earth people falling in the third week to be your sweet week. So it's a pattern that is coming up. And this is why I do these readings individual, because now we're recognizing that this pattern is that the third week is going to be the sweet week for you earth sign people. Now, what is transpiring in the two first week is going to be here. And hair and water is like storm, a lot of communication, okay? And this communication could be going back and front and chaotic communication, challenges that is going to be coming up. But I see some of you young ladies are going to be turning your back to some sort of a conflict that has been transpired, some sort of a conflict that a Leo has brought in your life, some of you um, Virgos. And this is a Leo on the work floor. And um, I see a lot of you dealing with a Libran and an Aquarian, a Libran and an Aquarian. Now, um, if you are in civil service, the two first week, there could be some sort of an issue is coming up. Some, some of you, I see someone going on pension and um, you're wondering whether or not you should go on pension or you should um, say that you want to work uh, Longer, but I see people wants to get rid of you. Sometimes it's good to go on pension and then apply for, um, you know, take a, a year off and then, you know, go and apply. Just take a year off. So someone out there is kind of figuring out, should I go on pension or, you know, let them know that I want to extend, um, you know, over my pension. Um, you can ask, but basically they just want you to go on pension. Some of you, um, no, yeah, they just want you to go on pension. So, um, you know, they want fresh blood in, you know, it is what it is. So, um, we can't push people to do things. And, you know, they are going to be saying a no. So some of you want to ask a question. If you can work over your pension, this corporation is going to say no because they want to get in fresh blood. You are more expensive and that's the reason why. All right. Um, so that was a message for someone who wanted um, a question to be answered. All right. So um, let's look and recognize what is happening. Newcomers, thank you for being here. Please remember to like, subscribe, thumbs up. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Virgos, you got to watch this reading and the reason why, Virgos, I know um, some of you want to be surprised, but some of you want to recognize what is coming up for you. So this, write it down, Virgos, uh, February 19th until March 20 is going to be good, but your sweet week is going to be 8th of March until 14th of March, okay? All right, um, let's look at what is happening in Transpire. So we see the Six of Swords. What is the energy of the Six of Swords? These are going to be affecting um, people in um, 
government institutes your corporation. So if you work in um, as a civil service, um, this week could be affecting some of you. But some of you, if you recognize that you're having a fight on the work floor, um, bring um, like a cushion and put over your chair um, at work. Okay, bring a cushion, put over your, your chair at work. This will protect you. It is good um, that you ladies like carry a little pink crystal to, you know, break the negativity that um, is going to be coming to you because, you know, people are going to be trying to send negativity and that sort of a thing. So be aware of that. Make sure um, that you Virgos are not sitting with your back to a door or a window. Um, that is going to also break your energies. Now, um, the six of the six of uh, um swords is uh, science okay and what is science we all know um especially when it's in the beginning of a reading is that this is that someone is trying to use witchcraft negativity to mess up some of you on the work floor or in your business so you gotta be aware of that so if you are someone who is dealing with that sort of an issue um you gotta check out which one of these symbols is going to be help you you to tell you who it is and how to, you know, one break this situation. Alrighty. Um, so the first week was the 19th until the 28th. So you got to recognize all the stuff that I just say. Some of you, some sort of a, um, and then is going to be coming up for a Libran. Okay. Some sort of an ending is going to be coming up for a Libran, but this Libran could also be a civil servant or have to do with the law, something with the law. So if you are like working, um, in a notary or a clerk at the courthouse, that sort of a thing, something could be coming out about a young woman and they're going to be recognizing something. Okay. So recognize that. All right, so as we look at the second week, the second week is from the 1st until the 7th of March, the 1st of March until the 7th. And what is happening and transpiring is that uh, a lot of you are going to be very tired, very drained in this week. So be aware, go to just leave work and go home and go to bed early. A lot of you are going to be very drained in this week because it's as if whatever happened in the, the end of february coming into march you're going to be very drained so you got to be um aware of this and this is going to be good um so be aware of this so some of you are going to be very drained be aware of this so, so this energy of the four of swords it's um a lot of meeting in the first week a lot of meeting in the second week and there's just going to be this two um, first week as you leave the end of February coming in the first week of March is just going to be a lot of meetings so you gotta take rest you gotta go home and take rest because this week is going to be a very very um a, you know a week that you have to stay focused all right you have to stay focused try not to over excel yourself and stay focused in this week because this is going to be good for you um, to, um, get some sort of a new contract or, um, some sort of a new deal and that sort of a thing. All right. So this is going to be good. So, um, stay focused. Some of you are going to be having some sort of a problem issues with a Libran back, back up and just stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Mm, okay. All right. So let's look at the third week. What is happening in the third week? The third week is an earth energy. This is a powerful week. So it is a week where you Virgos can get a lot done. Whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening. This week is a week where you Virgos can get a lot done. Um, Virgos 50 years and older is going to be a very good week with contract, business deal, and that sort of a thing. Mergers, uh, um, it's going to be good. Managers, business people, it's going to be good. But people between the ages of 18 and 20 is going to be good. But 20 and older, 20 to 50 is not going to be good. All right. Because, um, some sort of an eye professional, whoever has an eye profession job, I see an end is coming in for this person. They're trying to, um, resolve their contract and balance out their contract. Um, but an uh, end is coming in for this person, whether or not this person recognize it, 
I think they're going to be recognized in the week of uh, the fourth week. Okay. So, um, this person, see, I think they're recognized that uh, they're going to be, uh, um, be fired. Okay. So I see that people between the ages of, let's say 30 to 50 is going to be recognized that they're going to be fired. All right. Something in their private life came out. Uh, and you know they're going to be fired so they're they recognize that they're going to be fired and this is for people 30 years 30 uh, between the year, ages of 30 and 50 I've recognized this and i see um that a lot of you um recognize what is coming it's as if you feel you know that is coming and it's going to be affecting mostly the women okay Men, you are okay, you're safe, but mostly the women. Uh, Self-employed people, you're going to be okay. This is a good week to make any transition that you want to do. It's not a yay week, but it is a week to make transition. Don't make um, any mergers, okay? But transition, thinking about it, um, you know, having meetings and that sort of a thing, it is going to be perfect, all right? Then as we look at the fourth week, the fourth week is from the 15th until the 20th of March. Now, this fourth week, uh, a lot of conflicts, a lot of conflicts, um, tremendous conflicts is happening here. A whole lot of conflicts, conflicts and competition on the work floor, Co um, conflicts and competition in um, your work, your business, what you do. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing how conflicting this, uh, um, um, you know, Pisces season is going to be. You have six and four, which is 10 and five, 15. Um, one plus five is six. Okay. So it is the spicy season for you guys. It's really a season where you can create a lot of, uh, money and prosperity for yourself okay you gotta recognize each season gives you um some sort of an energy to manifest for you because the number six is about materialistic wealth and stability so it's about getting a new job it's about about getting extra hours it's about filling in for someone and getting um over time it's it's that sort of a season someone is leaving you are taking this person position a whole lot of that is happening and transpiring. So I see um conflicts and a whole lot of you are going to be deciding you know, um, to turn your back on a Leo on the work floor. So whether um, this Leo is and whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are deciding this Leo has cost me too much. This Leo is costing too much of my energy. This Leo is costing me just too much Um you know, friction in my world, in my life. This Leo is uh, really costing me too much. And you're going to be recognizing, I gotta, in order for me to focus on my work and to identify myself in my work, I gotta let go of this conflicts and this competition that this person is creating because this person is chaos. Okay. This person is a really chaotic person. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, this chaos and this person that is so chaotic, I need to find my, um, my, my, um, inner, um, soul energy frequency in order to deal with this person because they're so chaotic. They're saying so off balance that it is affecting, um, you know, affecting myself in order to perform my duties and at my work. So, um, you know, you're going to be thinking, hey, no more is, um, smoking with you. I'm going to stop smoking so I don't have to, you know, let this person know that, hey, I really don't want to, you know, uh, converse with you anymore because you're so chaotic and you're always, you know, so some of you are going to decide, ooh, I, it's a good time to stop smoking. I'm going to stop smoking. So that sort of a situation is going to be happening. Um, some of you are going to be recognizing that Talia has been trying to compete with you and have been trying to compete with you for a very long time. And you are now recognizing, you know, I don't need this person in my life. And, and a lot of you are going to be holding off this person and recognizing, yeah, this is not 
what I've been looking for in my life. So this is going to be good because you're going to be recognizing where you are and how you need to change some sort of a situation. And this is going to be good. I got to go. Remember to use the link in order um, or use the join button in order to pick up and choose one of your symbols. I will speak to you next time.